This is Mint Ison, a series produced by Engage for Mint. The series explores the perspective of Mint, a global company focused on advertising resource management on some major current topics in the media and advertising landscape. This second episode delves into the topic of transparency for advertising operations, highlighting its significance for the industry media leaders. Joining us for this discussion is Federico Salviti, Vice President Growth in the United States at MIC. Hello Federico and thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. So visibility is a rising topic in the US. Uh, why it's so important in the advertising industry and what about the differences between uh, uh, visibility and transparency? Visibility is the ability to make the data that you need to take decisions emerge. So imagine being a leader in an ever-changing world where everything is flying at 200,000 miles an hour around you and new pieces of data are coming. If you don't have visibility towards what's happening, it's almost driving in the rain. If you don't have the windshield that allows you to see clearly or what are the things that you should be paying attention to. You mentioned what is the difference between transparency and visibility. I noticed this is something that it's, uh, it's common in, in, in Europe. Transparency almost implies that someone wants to hide something from you, which is never the case if you think about it, because we're all working towards the same goal, right? And so focusing on visibility means an ability to create a uh, technology, data infrastructure, and a workflow of operations that allows you to have the data that you need when you need it the most. That's really what visibility is. So it's about agility. CMOs, heads of media, are trying to make decisions that are more data-driven. Receiving information in a timely manner, instead of reports every I don't know, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks sometimes. If you look at, for example, television data as opposed to digital, sometimes it's three months. It's not really agile, is it? And so what do we mean when we say agility? Agility is the ability to change, the ability to adapt. If something is not working, let's change it. If something can be rectified, let's rectify it. What element of our campaign it's really not working? What element of the budgets that we have dedicated are not really delivering on the initial promise that we conceived when we planned for the campaign? I can easily tell you that only 15-20% of companies out there are doing it successfully. Perhaps another 50% are trying really, really hard. And there is another 20 or 30% that haven't even started the, uh, let's say, transformation journey that it takes to be agile. Right, but uh, speaking about Mint, uh, what are the advantages of using, uh, for example, a modular and integrated approach uh, to advertising operations? Most of the work that the most advanced um, media teams out there are doing is to um, optimize their operations, first of all, optimize their workflows, and then optimize the way things are reported and decisions are taken. This is pretty much a digital transformation journey that these guys are taking, right? And uh, in this digital transformation journey, you have teams that are building amazing strategies, building an amazing vision, and somehow they get to the software end of it only by the very end. Once they have created these grand plans without understanding that then a UX of a software is the real bottleneck of where change management is going to happen. If you do not think about software at the same time as you are developing the strategy, you might put yourself at a disadvantage because then that strategy is not applicable. Why? Because certain pieces of technology simply don't exist as they are built. And so what happens is that companies enter into these very long journeys of building their own software. And then what happens? Companies are not software houses. It gets to a point in which they spend million. They have to uh, commit to that specific investment, they'll keep it for five, six, seven years. What happens with Mint? When you have a more of a uh, integrated middle layer approach that integrates to everything around you, it's A, incredibly less expensive than you having to build it yourself. And it helps the most successful 
fashion of development of technology for the purpose of that strategy that we have seen, which is build and stitch. Build your own core elements that only you need and let Mint stitch the rest so that you can progress faster into your digital evolution. You also were the f uh, among the first on the market to introduce uh, uh, the concept of uh, advertising equity. Can you further explore that uh, concept and why it's so important in today's media landscape? Learning from your experience is fundamentally important. If a company as an equity analyst can teach me, can tell me, this is what we have learned. This is how things have evolved over the years, especially now with generative AI. We can dunk all of that knowledge, all of those past data into an engine that can teach us how have we behaved in the past. That advertising equity becomes our memory, becomes our history, becomes um, the place where we can run regressions and analyze things, um, I, I think, immensely more efficiently. And this was literally impossible up until a few years ago. So we're talking about uh, recent advancements and nobody should feel bad for not having figured it out because if you think about it, up until two or three years ago, this wasn't even possible. So let's stay on the main challenges for our media leaders today. Um, what are the, the three main takeaways? Three main takeaways. Uh, the first one, when we touched on visibility, Uh, we need to bear in mind that visibility only means the emergence of data, making sure that we can take a look at the data that we need to make decisions in real time. The second thing that uh, I would take away from the conversation is that the um, agility that we're striving to gain, uh, it's not agility for speed's sake. It's agility for budget optimization sake and, and, and making sure that we can make changes to the campaigns that we have structured to increase effectiveness of those campaigns as well as efficiency um, and, and, and give our people a better lifestyle as well. Because sometimes we tend to be a little bit ine um, inefficient and people have to work a little bit too much around those campaigns. The third one that I can think of is within large projects of digital transformation. My suggestion would be involve your software vendors a little bit earlier in the process because software UX and software platforms is where a lot of the behaviors of your staff will manifest. And that might represent the very bottleneck of the uh, digital transformation that you want to, uh, that you want to bring to, to the team. So involve your vendors earlier in the process. Thank you, Federico. I, I agree with you. And thank you for uh, sharing with us your point of view. I'm sure that transparency and visibility will be one of the main topics on, uh, the, in the advertising market in the next few months and years. So thanks again, Federico, and stay tuned for the next episodes and see you next time. Mm -hmm.